so angry with myself. So look, I've been comprehensively ripped off and I've decided that the only way I can feel better is if I try and stop other people being ripped off in the same way that I've been ripped off. Um, that means the net amount of misery in the world will be diminished as a consequence of what I've gone through. My misery is not going to be taken away, but hopefully other people, just because of this video or podcast, people watch or listen to this and I will help you hopefully not make the same mistake. And therefore there will be less pain in the world as a consequence of what I've gone through. So I'll feel a lot better about it. Basically, um, on Sunday, my boiler broke, stopped working. No, no hot water or central heating. Not ideal in January. My cats were not happy about it. So I rang the normal plumbing company I would have rung, and they said, well, they could only get someone to arrive the next day. So I did a Google search and found uh, one promoted in Google Ad, seemed like a legit website, rang them. I think at this point I should have been maybe alarm bell time, just because I rang them and, and the like, guy I picked up was like, hello, <laughs> not like you are through to. It didn't, in hindsight, did that feel right? Not really. But they were like, we can send someone in an hour. I asked in terms of cost. They said, oh, I'll just call out, call out as 95 quid and then just suggested like a standard rate. Um, so they turned up. I mean, at this point, in terms of just avoiding the trap, though I'll come on to this actually in terms of would I actually have avoided this trap. They sent through, um, he said, sent through a contract, which was just like t typed like on an email, on a, from a Gmail account. Um and just kind of messy and confusing went on and on and on um now i should have taken more time to look through that i just thought well it's a technicality i'm in a rush need this sorted uh, so for example it had an admin fee just saying 0 0.17 um now what actually happened is he had to go and get the part so he had to come back this is it i don't know if anyone knows much about plumbing or boilers or whatever but this is the, it's the spark thing that had to be fixed. The total bill came to £863.99. pence. It took, when he had this part, it took about 10 minutes to fix to, to replace this. About 10 minutes, I would say. Yeah. Um, to understand why it's that cost, the hourly labour rate they charged was £355. Um, I rang this other... Another plumbing company and they said that they're the standard plumbing company their rate would be 120 quid on a sunday to be fair higher maybe 180 quid that would be half this rate this admin fee it turns out 0 0.17 is applied as a percentage to the bill um so they actually put rates 717 pound 60 for the admin fee the amount therefore applied being 122 pounds and then for the part, 120 quid. I'd love to find out if that's actually worth 120 quid, but we can sure go into that. People, do do leave your comments. Can't wait to read those. Um, as I said, this is therapy, if nothing else. Now, when I got, when the plumber just sent through, when I had to pay on the spot, I think just one thing I would say about myself is I know a lot of you see me on TV maybe quite passionately fighting my corner, arguing with right-wing people. I don't actually like confrontation. I have to do it as part of my job on television. When it comes particularly to a kind of interaction with, like, service. Like, if I was at a restaurant, like, basically just serve some steaming crap, I'd be like, thank you very much, and then tip generously. <laughs> it's just who I am. Can't really help it. The other thing is, not familiar with plumbing. Not because um, I'm some privileged dilettante or whatever, but... I had a partner for 14 years who would generally... I'm sure they'd, they're feeling very smug if they're watching and listening to this. Who would just generally deal with that kind of thing. Just not a very practically minded person in lots of ways. So, in my head, I was just so stunned with the bill. Um, I did ask about the rate and they referred me to the contract. And I was like... Um, stunned, but also like, is this what plumbing costs? Without being able to refer back to previous experiences when I should have thought about that. Um, now, I thought to myself after that, like, hold on a minute, this is madness. And I don't want other people to go through this. So I investigated, as I've said, you know, I rang this other plumbing, mainstream plumbing company and they pointed out the labour costs is, that was extortionate. I asked about the admin fee and they were like, what, what is he, what even is that? They said, what does that even refer to? What is an admin fee applied to a plumbing bill? 
122 pounds they said that's they were just like it's completely ludicrous and they were like that's just so weird and, and, and utterly bizarre and all the rest of it um i think um what i said so what i thought then was like well again stop other people going through this so i just emailed them and go i'm a journalist i would like to know firstly about your admin fee and why you're charging such an extortionate rate they then rang me screaming at me down the phone like, it was madness, like, just screaming, threatening, yelling at me, wouldn't let me have a word in edgeways, rah, 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 rah. Um, when I just said, this is the most unprofessional um, customer service or whatever I've ever heard in my entire life, and said, this is just, like, the behaviour of cowboys, sort of screaming, it's like, watch your language, watch what you say about me, not good. Um, eventually, I was like, what do you even mean by that? And then they started going about lawyers and suing me for libel. I said, you can't actually sue someone for... Um, objecting on a phone call to an extortionate amount of money that you've charged compared to other plumbers. Um, just screaming at me down the phone, yelling and yelling and yelling. Absolute madness. I looked up reviews online and I found lots of people who'd gone through this experience. The point about the contract, because you might think, well, you could have just avoided that, you know, read the contract properly, interrogated at how much you'd end up paying. Others have tried that and the plumber refused to leave. And they had a couple of them. I mean, these are only allegations. So I had to go on the basis of what these reviews say. But because I put these reviews to the person, they went, these were invented by competitors. Well, anyway, but they claim they actually had to call the police to have the plumber removed from the premises um, as a consequence. Um, I looked up these reviews and it was just people being charged rip off amounts um they they said that plumber actually said well we'll send the plumber back to undo the work and then you'll just and then we'll refund you in the end i was just i mean maybe i should have done that they did i saw on the online that as that same experience had happened to um other people uh as well um they also complained of just aggressive threatening behavior from the people when they objected uh to the extortionate amount they were charging i also looked they rang me from lots of different numbers and i googled them and they've been reported on these websites as kind of like alleged as scam telephone numbers and threatening and all the rest of it um with a multiple different type of functions not just not plumbing but various other things um so i couldn't find any uh example of them existing on company's house as a registered company i've asked for them to send through their company's house details they haven't sent that through uh, at all uh, they sent their gas accreditation or whatever for the for the plumber i'm sure he actually is a qualified plumber but i suppose that's neither here nor there in that sense um and they've used lots of different names in their email in their invoice online um so it's not actually clear what they're actually company what the actual company name actually is <laughs> um so i mean i'm not sure what i mean it is getting any money back not what not what I'm expecting, or not what not what I, not what I expected when I challenged them, but what I did want to do is get you to not end up in this situation. So what I should have done is use a website like I mean I'm not being paid by CheckerTrade.com before I get accused of product pr um, promotion or being paid by them, but CheckerTrade.com where you have a guaranteed tradesperson where you type in electrician or or whatever plumber and then you actually get accredited trusted people who won't rip you off where you can actually look at trustworthy reviews and all the rest of it that's what i should have done um i've looked up online lots of examples of people being ripped off by plumbers often vulnerable pensioners and that's why i wanted to do a video on this and this is also why i try to interrogate them um about who they are and why they are charging extortionate rent rates because i can absorb that cost it's a massive kick in the teeth let's be honest about it um but people who are significantly poorer than me and struggling won't be able to do that or it will be a massive burden for them to to carry if they're paying suddenly paying 800 quid to fix this in a boiler or something else i looked at other examples like burst pipes or the rest of it just charging even more extortionate rates allegedly these are what these reviews said um yeah, it's a bit meandering, but I'm annoyed and angry, but I genuinely think because of this, some of you won't get ripped off. Don't just go off a Google ad, even if it looks like the website's fine and all the rest of it. Also, if they sound dodgy on the phone, trust your instincts. Use a website like checkertrade.com so you don't end up in this situation. And that's what I wanted to say. 
I feel better already because I know some of you won't be ripped off now. Maybe some of you think I'm an idiot or thick or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, it could have approached it differently. You live and you learn. But obviously you shouldn't have companies, which I can't even find evidence existing, um, charging rip-off rates for jobs like this. Also, there should be regulation. There should be actual regulation so they can't do this. Anyway, I'm sure I'm going to read now in the comments lots of examples of you being ripped off because um, I only spoke to some of my friends and came up with loads of examples and my relatives. Um, so let's learn from this, my experience. So let's avoid being ripped off again. Please like and subscribe. I'm sure that'll make me feel better as well. 